Today, I am going to be demonstrating the infield practices of the BLK360 G2 unit. Whether your team is new to reality capture or already experienced in Leica technology, it's important to have an understanding of this workflow. To turn the unit on, we simply press and hold the power button for about a second. It will go through an initiation process. The light will be flashing yellow. Once that light converts itself to green, we're ready to scan. Now that the unit's been powered on, we want to open up Cyclone Field 360 to initiate the scan. So I open up Field 360. First thing it's going to ask is if I would like to reconnect to the scanner. I'm going to simply choose yes. This is going to establish the connection between the iPad and the BLK360. Now that it is connected to the scanner, we simply want to start a new project. By doing that, we hit the plus sign. This is going to allow us to give this project a specific name. For this particular illustration, we're just going to leave it the job name. I'm going to hit save. Once you've saved, you're now able to go in here and select the project that we created. So now that the scanner is connected, I can simply choose how I want to start scanning. In this dialog box, I'm able to choose a couple different things. The first thing I'm gonna look at is the density. Whether we want the four different densities, for this illustration, we're gonna choose a medium density, and I do want to use the HDR imagery. Once this is set up, all I need to do now is simply hit start. Now the scan is finished, you're gonna notice that it populated that single scan onto my iPad screen. If I select that scan, I have a couple different options that I can do here. The first of which, I can choose 360. This is going to allow me to see the photography that was done while scanning. The next option is 3D. This is going to allow me to navigate, zoom in and out, and see the actual point cloud data that was captured. If I choose map, this is going to put me back into that plan view, now at which time I can take it and do additional scans. Using traditional survey methods, this room probably would have taken us about 30 to 35 minutes to capture using traditional tape measure, pencil, paper. With a BLK360 scanner, we captured this area in approximately one minute. Now that we've completed the first scan, we need to move this scanner to the next location. In this particular illustration, we want to move it toward the door so that we can work our way out to start scanning the rest of the building. Simply pick it up and walk to the next location. I'm going to set it down. At this point, the only thing I need to do is hit start on the next scan. Now that the second scan has completed, we're now able to register this data on the iPad. First, I want to choose the scan. I want to choose registration icon. I'm going to choose the scan I want to register it to. I'm going to choose start alignment. This is going to give me the two scans. I can hit optimize, and this is simply going to put the data where it needs to be based off that VIS system. I also want to check the elevation. I notice that it is appropriate and it's correct. I come back. All I need to do now, choose create link. Those two scans are now successfully registered together. You may ask yourself, why does field registration matter? Having the data field registered means that when I get back to the office, I know there's no spots that I've missed. Also, I know that everything is tied together and I will be successful in completing my job.